Hey everyone, this is John English. We're in Shelbyville, Tennessee at John English Antique Sports and Cards. We're going on being open for almost a year now and we've got a lot of emails and questions about the shop. So what I thought today is that we would just give everyone a tour of the inside of our shop and all the things that are going on at, here in Shelbyville, Tennessee. And uh, we want everyone to come and uh, unlike Willy Wonka, you don't have to have a golden ticket. You can get in for free. So we look forward to seeing everybody. Hey, let's, let's go inside. So the first thing when you walk into our shop is that you notice is our kind of our wall of framed items. Lots of different pictures and advertising, autographs, things of that, uh, of that nature. And this is basically, our store is divided into two stores. One is kind of a card shop side, and one is an equipment and memorabilia side. After you see all the stuff on the walls, then you see the card cases, which have football, basketball, baseball, oddball things. Uh, we do have some non-sports, some, some Pokemon, and some earlier stuff. And basically our shop is mostly based on vintage cards. So then, as you also come in, you see a whole row of white boxes, and everything in these boxes are $5. Every card is $5, your choice, go through them. They're divided on, on years, by sports. Um, we have basically from 1948 all the way up to 2021. We also have some packs, choice of $5. And as with any other card shop, we have boxes. Now, Mostly our boxes are based on vintage boxes. We do have some newer items from time to time. We have some cases, unopened cases that we sell. And the inventory is changing all the time. So it's a good thing that people come and look at our items in person. Also, we have a case of graded cards depending on what you're looking for, if you're into graded. We have graded cards. We have lots and lots of ungraded stuff. We have lots and lots of comments on our card side. And our last case of stuff is basically autograph cards non-sports cards from Star Wars to Three Stooges to Pokemon. We also have some basketball in this case. Just lots of different stuff here on the card side. Lots to look at if you're into vintage or the unusual cards. Also, too, I'd just like to show you some of the behind-the-scenes aspects of our store, too. We have a room where we come in and collections come in and we sort things so that we always have items that are always changing out into the store. Things that are waiting to get sorted, cards that are going in boxes to be put out in our five dollar boxes. So lots of collections come and go and are broken down in this room. And it's good that we have on site abilities to go through things and then put them right out on the show floor. So when you walk in you'll notice the yellow step. 
And the yellow step leads to the other side of the store, which is basically our memorabilia side. And as with the card section, this side is divided up into sections of different items. We have, you come up and you look to the right, you have all of your bats, whether they be uh, Winchester or Spalding, uh, in the original Spalding racks, whether they be different Mickey Mantle labels. We have a case of just kind of a hodgepodge of stuff, but it's mostly Mickey Mantle type items in this case. We have some ceramics and pre-war early stuff in this case. We have some hunting and fishing and some trophies in this case. Above these cases, we have lots of trophies and display items and things of that nature. And to the right of that, we have some uniforms and different Letterman jackets and uniform clothing. And then we have lots of different showcases down the side that starts off with bats and baseballs, mostly things in their own boxes, which I have collected and liked for a long time. We do have some autograph items. We have a football case that has helmets and balls and different items related to football. We have then the basketball case that has lots of lace up and different basketball items. We have the baseball, we actually have two cases of gloves in the boxes that I have collected over a long time. The good thing about this, people say that this is a museum. Well, the good thing about the museum is that it's all for sale. So as you come past the gloves in the boxes case, we have kind of our equipment corner here where we have been of, there's probably a couple hundred gloves, your choice, Dick, throw them $25 a piece. And then you have the better gloves that have been used with price tags on them. You have catcher's equipment and football equipment and basketball equipment. showcase of golf stuff. We have some tennis stuff. We have some horse racing stuff. Then past the cases of golf and tennis and horse racing, we have some toys and some miscellaneous baseball items. One thing that I think is cool is at one time I bought a bowling collection and the original rack for the wood bowling balls was with it. And so we have a number of wood bowling balls that have been hand carved with two finger holes, probably from the 1910 and 1920s. And uh, the original rack that they were in, which is cool. So something that I, I think is pretty cool about the shop is I've tried to incorporate oddball things like on our pennant wall, which is next to the bowling, uh, as you come in, uh, we sourced a neon pennant sign off an old building and redid that. And so I think that that pennant 
ties into basically our pennant wall, which I think is really cool. Something else that you see when you come up the yellow step is our center console cabinets. The first thing you see is our Nodder cabinets, which this was a collection of Nodders that are in really tip-top shape. And of course, we're always looking for things of this nature, but they're very fragile. And of course, I like to try to find things in boxes that have not been used. So we will continue to search for these type of things to put, continue to put inventory in the shop. As you walk around the center section, we have postcards from teams, schedules, lots of different buttons, press pins. We have a case of pennants and stadium giveaways. Uh, there's some cereal here. But just things, I kind of like the hats that you would buy outside on a sunny day at the stadium to support your own team. I think those are kind of cool. As we transition out of the pennant case, we've got some ticket stubs here. Then we come to our ticket and program case that also has, I, I like scores, advertising scores, which I thought and still think are really cool. On the opposite side of this case, we have a bunch of big white holders for paper goods. And we have a chair that's there for people to sit and look through the programs, uh, the advertising, the miscellaneous paper stuff that we have in the shop. There's some wire photo pictures, just lots of just individual different flats for people to look at. As you move around to the other side, we have some early golf stuff that's mixed also in with some baseball and hockey and just oddball stuff in these cases. These, these two cases across from the bowling and the pennant has just a bunch of oddball and a mixture of just pretty cool little things that I think you just have to look at the case. We have some salesman samples in the next case. We have boxing, we have card games, we have tobacco items, we have glass slides, pocket knives, schedule books, we even have a bicycle medal and some little snuff boxes from sporting good stores. We even have put a sitting area in for wives to come in while their husbands or significant others shop around. But as you guys can see, we are probably a full service antique sports shop and card shop and I think that there's a lot to look at here so when you plan a trip to Shelbyville Tennessee I think that you need to spend some time just know that you'll not just be able to walk in and in five minutes be done come visit us and uh, hopefully we'll see everybody at the National uh, we will have some stuff there and it will be some pretty cool stuff. So thank you from John English Antique Sports and Cards. We're out.